important update in Hood River. Both men who died when their small plane crashed after takeoff have been identified. So here was the scene. This is just afternoon. A small plane. You see how bad the damage is. Ripped in half, essentially. The pilot, we've learned, is 56-year-old Matthew Titus of California. The passenger was 55-year-old Ben Davidson from Hood River. Devin Haskins joins us live at the Hood River Airport. Devin, we heard crews had to use the jaws of life to get the men out. Yeah, it took first responders about 20 to 30 minutes to try and reach the two men inside the plane. Life flight was even on standby just in case. Fortunately, both men had already died. Now you can see from Sky 8 the wreckage on the ground as investigators from multiple agencies try and take the plane apart to move it inside of a hangar nearby. The crash happened just after 10 o'clock this morning. The Hooter River County Sheriff's Office says witnesses told them the plane's engine began to sputter right after takeoff tried to turn around and then began a nosedive at a steep angle. There were a number of witnesses nearby that saw what happened, even running to help. Well, Rich Walcott and his wife Janice saw it all happen. Well, once they saw the crash, then they, they kept running and some wanted to get over there as quickly as possible. They took their uh, golf carts. One of the gentlemen had his uh, Harley Davidson. So we're watching here, but it's, it's different, seeing that uh, two people have now passed, passed on. The plane is listed as a 1974 Piper PA 18150. It's a single engine plane. That's according to the FAA's registry website. The sheriff's office says it may have belonged to the museum here at the airport. Investigators moved the plane inside a uh, hangar uh, belonging to the sheriff's office. Now this weekend there is a, um, Hill, or a Hood River fly-in that's still set to take place. The Western Antique Airplane and Automobile Museum says that Ben Davidson, the passenger in the plane, was their chief pilot.